here's some other techniques on how to do swirls, florals, flourishes using the spiral tool. So let's get started. So here's the spiral tool. I'm going to select, create the spiral. Now, you hold down the up arrow or down arrow, you can create more or less of a spiral. I'm going to go with that spiral right there. Okay. D key for default. D for default. So it's defaulting to black stroke white fill. I don't want to have a fill. So I'm going to hit the X key forward slash X key. Go back to my stroke. So let's make this stroke three pixels. Okay. A couple of variations of how we could do this. We could go to our width tool, shift W, pick a point, and drag it out. Boom. There's our spiral. Calligraphy type of spiral. That's one way to do it. Another way to do this is I can create a, a rectangle, fill it with black, shift to X to fill it with black, directly select the path, the path between these two anchor points, and hit the delete key. Notice what I did here. When I select these two anchor points, command shift option J Macintosh, control alt J option, I'm sorry, control alt J windows, that joint averages. So now I'm going to take this shape, drag into my brush palette, hard brush, and whatever you want to call it, you can give it a name up on top, we're not going to call it anything. Now I'm going to select the path, go to the hard brush, and there's my spiral. There, so there's two ways you can do a spiral, quick, simple, to the point. Now, if you want to have more flexibility to your spiral, what you can do here is create a rectangle. Okay, rotate that. R for rotation. Rotate that at 45 degrees. Select, directly select these two anchor points. Go to the scale tool, hit the return key. Scale is horizontally 400%, vertically 100%. Then I can take this shape. Now, if you want to make this a little thinner, still with my scale tool, I can pick a point to scale from and pull it down. Take that, drag that into my brush palette. Make another art brush. So now I can use that for my spiral. Okay, so you'll just get a spiral that starts thin and ends thin. Now, here's an alternative to that. Okay, you can also go to my oval tool. L key select oval tool. Make a very, very thin oval like this. Okay, I'm going to command Y to go to the wireframe. Okay, zoom in here for a second. Spacebar, grab the page, move the page. Go to the Shift C key, the Convert Direction Point tool. This tool right here, which is Shift key C. Select this anchor point. Select that. Anchor point, drag that to the brush palette, same thing here, airbrush, hit OK, now I have that option, that choice, so I select this and select that. So those are just a couple different techniques, now important step here with the brush palette, if you want to have the flexibility, so if you click this right now, and I go to my stroke and I try to fill it with a different color. It doesn't work. You have to go to your brushes, double click your brushes, and select tint. Now I can change its color. And if I hit apply strokes, it applies it to that project. Leave strokes doesn't change it. So again, double click your brush, change to tints. Hit OK, and you can change it to a color. So now I can make this color anything I want. OK, now if I want to fill this with a gradient, you can fill a stroke with a gradient, but you can fill a object with a gradient, not a stroke, but the object fill. So I can go to anything about the object under the object menu. Object, path, path, outline, stroke. Now that I have an outline stroke, I could bring up my gradient, select the G for gradient tool, and drag 
first of all, a mistake. Make it a gradient, go to my G for gradient tool and drag this through. Now, if you want to make color changes to your gradient, then just take a color change. Let's go from white to black. So I can take this red swatch here, drag it to black. And this is a linear gradient. I can make a radial gradient. Okay? Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to this channel. I've been doing this for 24 years. Adobe Illustrator since 1987. If there's a quicker, faster, better way to do things, I share that with my students. Thank you.